Back in Huntsville. <clears throat> Came here last night. 10 hour flight. San Diego, California. <clears throat> Got delayed right off the bat. Sat in the airport for five hours. Didn't smoke. Didn't, didn't do nothing. Wasn't trying, to, wasn't trying to take my belt, my shoes off again. Just go smoke a cigarette. It wouldn't work it. So, I went to Huntsville. Came in last night. Hit up. Studio. Went in with DJ Rich. Laid down like five new tracks coming out. New album. So, it's just abuse. New mixtape. Supposed to be dropping in March. Keep your eyes out for it. I'm on Huntsville three nights. I leave tomorrow morning. Came in and see my sons play. Doing this interview. Let y'all know I'm out here, man. No filter to mixtapes in the streets. Shout out to Huntsville. Dynamite Kid, Lady Lace, Really Real Films, PT Primetime, G-Side, Young Clover. Shit, Young Chevy, VA, DJ Fresh, DJ Caesar, Joski Love, ML6, uh, John Bomb. Man, shout out to 103.5 and 103.1, man. Real talk. Music, man, I do music mostly because I feel like I got a message, man. Like, I do music for myself first and foremost. I mean, if people feel my music, then they feel my music. If they don't feel my music, that's cool, too, man. I just, I feel like I got something that other people can connect to, so... You know, I choose to I choose to do music for me, man. It ain't really about the money. I mean, I'm getting paid already. I mean, I got money and love for people in the streets. So I'm just, you know, what I mean, I try to keep it 100 with people. So I do music because I love music. To not be my mom and dad. I don't want to be 40 years old <clears throat> sleeping on my mom's couch. She's even got a couch. So. I mean, I ain't trying to be on drugs, man. I mean, I'm a drug addict first and foremost. So, I feel like that there's always something better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can do better. Like, I can have something. Like, I see all my friends now. They got kids and big houses and nice cars. And it's like, I mean, I want that. But, I mean, how, how far can drug dealing really take you, man, until you get caught up? So, man, my main motivation is just to be better, man. I want to be a better person in life. Yeah. You know what, man? I'm as I'm, I'm as puzzled as everybody else. Like, just to be honest with you, it's a it's, it's a sensitive subject, man. I'm not real sure what I'm not real sure what's going on. Man. That's a real good question. I just know right now I'm doing my solo thing, man. Joey getting married, you know, getting in my house, whatever, man. Shout out to him and his wife. You know, you know, he's doing his own thing, man. Like that, that's you know, what I'm saying like this is life, and you know, right now I just ain't. Like, I'm not really focused on that. Like, that's that's him. Like, he's doing his thing. Whenever he gets right and he wants to holler at me, man, he knows my number. So, I mean, that, that's really what it is. DJ Rich. Shout out to DJ Rich, man. You are the greatest producer, engineer, DJ, promoter, and friend. Man, you're the shit. I love you, brother. Uh, DJ Rich, man. Actually, uh, my best friend, Todd, man. The owner of Music Inc., the company that I rep with, shout out to Music Inc., uh, he had a friend and uh, <clears throat> said he knew the producer, he'd get some beats or whatever, and he knew he was doing music, and Todd was building up his studio, man, and hollered at him, and he got to do his number and hollered at him, and then him and Joey went and hollered at him, man, a couple times, got beats, you know, brought the beats back, we worked on them, talked to Rich, and me and Joey went out, shout out, talked to him, uh, Shit skipped through about six months, man. Like we we got real cool. Was working with him. He actually come and moved in with us, man. Chilled at the pad. Uh, man, we work constantly on music, man. We, man, well, me and him just got close, man. Like do all the trials and tribulations, man. Me and Rich was like, like, and me and Rich couldn't stand each other in the beginnings. What's so sad about it is that I'm a dick, Rich is a dick. So we bumped heads constantly. But needless to say, in the very end, man, like he had my back, I had his back, and finally, man, respect was just earned. You know, mutually between the two of us, man, and man, we just been super tight ever since, man. And Rich is all about work ethic, and so I told him I was like, you know, I wanna, you know, I wanna do some music, man. I just stay serious, and man, he just followed my suit, man, and he just believed in me, man. And still to this day, he works with me. I just seen him last night, man. Like me and Rich is a forever lasting like connection, right there, man. Rich is my dude, no matter what, man. DJ Rich most definitely is the man. If you don't know him, Google him, check him out. DJ Rich R is a don. A R Z A D O N. Rich, like I got money. R is a don. Check him out. I'm stupid. I'm foolish. And I'm bouncing through this club like I don't give a fuck with my. California, man. California's amazing. It's a. Uh, 
it's a culture shop, man. It's it's great, man. Like I uh, I went out there, man. I was out there a couple days. We went shopping. Was out. I was at a head shop. I went in, man. First person I even talked to about music. Told him I was from Alabama. Was out promoting. You know, I was gonna be out here. My girl was at the hospital, so I was posted up out there. I told him I had some CDs, man. I took them in. And I asked him if he'd, you know, give them out. Just give them away. Don't even sell them. And uh, dropped him like 20 mixtapes, man. And then went in and did an interview with him. It's on my Facebook page. And check it out, man. Zach, yeah. Shout out to Zach. I got some music out in the dispensaries, actually, even too, man. Shout out to my, my dispensary. Y'all know who y'all are. You know, they acting a fool in California. So I ain't gonna say y'all's name. I don't need y'all getting twisted. You know what I'm saying? Gotta stay connected. So, uh, yeah, man. California, man. Everybody's been really inviting really encouraging man like really really supportive man everybody out there is like like they're about good music like it's if you if you're talking about something like that give you the time man like everyone's real supportive man i love california shout out to california man right now because it's raining dark clouds every day of my week and i know someone out there sees exactly what i'm seeing i'm working on a mixtape that's going to germany with plates and dj Birdstick. uh it's gonna be a new mixtape going to germany just done a song last night for it called Roller Coaster uh, with DJ Rich. And then the No Filter album also is about to get fully remixed into dubstep. Uh, one is AJ Bevilacqua was doing a song I did with Katy Perry called End of It All. And then DJ Burst and were taking the whole album and totally redubstepping it, taking it out to Germany. Uh, so I got some stuff coming out there. And then Substance Abuse, I just started on it last night. I'm about five songs into it. Got about four more written, two coming with Dynamite Kid, got one coming with Stacks on deck, I got one coming out with uh, Jackie Chain. I'm trying to do big things right now, man. Uh, I also got another mixtape coming out called This Is How It Ought To Be Done. That should be dropping in like May, that's with DJ Rich, so is this us, Abuse Man's DJ Rich, both of us. And then the actual No Filter album, album official, that'll be on, you know, that'll be in stores for sale. Purchase completely 100% copywritten should be dropping sometime next year too, and I'll keep y'all posted on dates for all of it. You can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Reverb Nation, Dat Piv. I mean, you name it, you can check me out. J Bro, J B R O U G H A M, or J Bro Ham, ever how you pronounce it, man. I'll let your boy, man. Huntsville's my home city, man. I love Huntsville. Uh, it's almost like a big version of Cheers, man. Everybody knows your name here. I mean, it's a big city, but it's you know it's like a small it's like a small town, man. Everybody knows everybody, and man, I fuck with a lot of people here, and there's a lot of people here that are haters on other people, and it's like you know everybody needs to squash that bullshit and come together, because Alabama hadn't made it yet, cause that's our problem. I mean, everybody wants to, you know, what I'm saying not support each other and you know people can say that they you know they support local music but i mean do you really i mean you know things like i i love Huntsville, man if we came together dude it, it would be over with man there's so much talent here man shout out to like i said swag buddies dj and dj fresh 103.5 man joe ski love john bond 1031 i mean lady lace dynamite <laughs> dj rich ben frank uh, rocket city radio stacker starve i mean Hate approved, short change, stacks on deck, I mean, smart boy, you name it, man. Everybody out here is doing their thing. We, everybody just come together. Jackie, man, Yellowwood, just right down the street. I mean, like big things are happening right now, man. Birmingham, Jay, Attitude, Rich Boy. I mean, Alabama's just blowing up. It's just, you know, we just ain't, like, in local, in local it just seems like people aren't backing each other enough. Like, you know, they're not. They're not out of these shows, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to spend their money, like, you know, they don't want to pay to get in the club. They don't want to, you know, it's like, man, come on, have a good time, man. What's $5? I mean, if you got $5, what's $5 for real? I mean, you know, what's $10 for real? I mean, $10 means two packs of fucking cigarettes, and guess what? I smoke three packs a day. I got to pay my way in and half your way. I mean, so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what's five or ten bucks to go out and support a local movement and people going to show you love? I mean, if you don't, that's cool too, man, but... Shout out to Humphrey, man. I just wish we come together more, man. Support more local artists, man. Put more people on. Do more open mics. Get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Just hang out. Click. Communicate. Start, you know what I'm saying? Start little mini tours. Everybody get up, man. Go out. Grind. If you got somebody's CD, if, I, if I'm out and I'm grinding, I got stack CD, man, in California. I've got, I'm, I'm taking short change, trying to get hater proof CDs right now, man. I've talked to quite a few people. Dynamite Kid, Lady Lace. I told them. Right now in California, I got my shit in three storefronts right now. I'm just giving them away. 
But if you got local CDs, if you from here, from Huntsville, fuck with me, man. Call me. If you got my number, holler at me. If you don't, it's not hard to get. You can check me out on Facebook. And I'm putting no CDs in storefronts. I don't care if I got 100 people CDs. I'm going to put it in that storefront. I mean, if you out grinding and you at the Chevron, you at the Texaco, no matter where you at. Man, if you got homeboys and homegirls and they rapping, they artists, man, and hell push their CD, man. Why you out just selling yours, man? Sell theirs, too. Give it away. Fuck. Who cares? If you got it in the car, man, give it away, man. Keep the local movement going. You know what I'm saying? I support local music because I am local. No, I don't know where I'm from, but I know where I'm going, and that's all the way up. Pass the top somewhere because I'm tired. No filters. A new mixtape in the streets, man. It came out about a month and a half ago. Uh, I've been online killing the internet. Killing the internet. I know a lot of people's mad at me because they notifications on their phone. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to do my thing. I apologize to y'all. Uh, I got a song I'm pressing on right now, Looney Ben. It's crazy, man. It's actually based on a true story. I spent like three months trying to get on meds for my bipolar. And uh, <laughs> needless to say, man, I went through all these therapists, counselors, and uh, ended up seeing a doctor, man. And I told the doctor, you know, I was being honest with him because I went there voluntarily. And I was trying to get on meds, and he told me I smoked pot, so it was probably a lifestyle I needed to try N.A. So the loony being came from that whole situation of, like, me reaching out to a doctor, telling him I need help, and trying to be honest with him that I smoked pot, and telling him I didn't want to. That was what keeps me from spiking. He wasn't trying to hear it. So Looney Benz, the single I'm pushing right now on there. I just shot a video with Redly Rail for another song, Grindstone, on there, produced by DJ Rich. Uh... I got some other singles on there. I got a single on there with Lady Annabellum. Got a single with Dave Matthews. Some samples I use, they pass through. Uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. No filter. Y'all ain't, ain't, ain't got that yet. You can go to datpiff.com. When you hit the site, search no filter. It's free for download right now. And everybody gonna question what you do. That's cool, though. Grindstone is actually the... <clears throat> when I started working on this mixtape, on my solo mixtape, Grindstone was actually the third song I did just writing. Uh, before I even knew there was going to be a mixtape, I was just doing songs, and it just happened to be one of the songs I got from Rich, and one of the beats I got from Rich, one of the songs I did. And I don't know, man, it ended up coming out good, and he went on there and showed out. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, man, it just caught on. Like, everybody really loved that song, man, and it was like it was one of a kind. Like, you, like it switches up three times in the beat, and ain't nobody doing that. And it was just, it was crazy, man, and it caught on, and... So I was talking to Rich, man, talking to a couple of other my people, and it was like, man, that shit's going in. So, man, we just had fun with it, man, and hit up Rail. I told him, I was like, man, I got this idea for this for this video, and it's called Grindstone. I shot it to him through email, he listened to it, and he, it wasn't even like 20 minutes. He hit me back and was like, yeah, I already got all these mad ideas. So I left to go out, to, uh, right before I left to go out to Cali, man, we got together and shot it down at the skate park in Huntsville, man. Shout out to all the skaters, man, and the... Uh, Dudes on the bicycles, man, that are showing out for us, man. Well, uh, I'll be honest, man. Like, I feel like music nowadays is, like, really watered down. Um, I guess people are, I guess rappers and artists now feel like that them being real on track, man, makes them vulnerable or... Easily, you know, able to be attacked or, or whatever, man. But, like, I don't, I mean, I don't even stress that. I mean, people can call me whatever they want to. Odds are that I probably, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably a victim of it, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm a dick, I'm a bastard, I'm an asshole, I'm all that shit. And I feel like, you know, with my music, man, I just put me on the track. And, like I said, I do music because I love music, first and foremost. Like, I mean, I'm already, I'm already good, man. I mean, I've already got a big, uh, you know, big house and a nice car and shit that I work for. Me and my girl, and it's like you know, it's it's not it's not really about changing the industry for me. It's about people connecting to my music. So I mean, if I change the industry, that's cool. If I don't change it, that's cool too, man. I just want my fans to have something to connect to, and I want to keep them connected. So that's really why I do it, man. Not even really to change the industry, just to give people a different outlook, just to give people something different, give them something real they can connect to. So so if if I change the industry, that's good. But if I don't, that's cool too. Yeah. Man, it would be beautiful, man, if we could get more local artists 
to support local artists and support local movements nationwide, globally. I mean, in my own city, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Wherever, like, get local music to really push local music because no doors are going to get open when everybody's trying to pull just for their own people. I mean, good music is good music. I mean, bottom line. So that's that's a goal I like to see happen, man. I like to be part of a, of a movement, man, that everybody got behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for a reason, man, to push music. Because, I mean, good music, like I said, is good music. And everybody should get a chance to hear it if it's good music. Just to release it through my line to let my people know I'm fine. Far away from trying.